good morning. I'm on a Hunter 41 and uh, I'm going to upgrade the, uh, well, we call it the cigarette lighter. But, um, you know, everybody has gadgets these days and they all need charging. And so, therefore, we're going to put in a uh, USB port um, onto the DC panel. These seem to be coming onto the market pretty strong. And, uh, of course, the uh, boat existing has one cigarette lighter port but it would be nice to add a double USB port for charging as you can see the whole size is a little bit different and it's a one and one eighth I made a little template and I sketched around it so that I can open up that hole very carefully with quality craftsmanship and make sure it fits so what I've got here of course is a Dremel toolkit and a vacuum cleaner because of course the dust is gonna fly all over. I use a little Dremel with a, uh, a you'd call it a grinding burr, and I'm gonna go carefully around and relieve that material, and then uh, we'll slide in the new part and wire it up. Another consideration is looking inside and making sure we don't cut any important wires pull everything off to the side and make sure that you have clearance in the back. This is going to just barely fit in here just right. And this is my little um, backing nut that, that goes inside onto the threads here of the uh, USB charger. Okay, so I got my safety glasses on because some of the dust will fly. I've got my vacuum cleaner rigged up, so uh, I think you can see that. It's maybe not going to catch all of the debris, but it's going to catch a good amount of it, probably uh, maybe 80% of it, so that's very helpful. And um, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so we'll do a test fit now, make sure, we might have to grind out a little bit more. Uh, if my little uh, sketch, my drawing, my, my circle here is accurate, then we'll probably be looking good. Here we go. That fits pretty nice. So I'll take the tape off and um, I'll finish up the insula installation on the inside, put the little nut on and do the uh, electrical connections. That's the back side of what this USB charger looks like. I will put the two leads back. I will um, need to change one, the original ones. This was a circular one, so I'll switch this out for a spade connector, and then I think we're looking good. Um, then this is what the exterior is gonna look like. Um, so pretty tidy installation, very tight uh, uh, tolerances, dimensions, whatever, but um, it's gonna look at look good, and uh, the boat owner is gonna be happy. Now he can charge devices right here at the nav center. I keep a little box of all kinds of connectors and so on. Uh, through the years, I've made a, a small collection of all kinds of connections for 12 volt DC stuff. As you can see, it's really handy to have. Um, some shrink tubing, connectors, testers, um, butt connectors, that kind of thing. So anyway, we're all we're going to do is uh, switch out the circular one, put a spade connector on here. As you can see, I've got this right here. I'm going to go on with that and uh, test our connection. One thing of note is the fact that there's positive negative terminals on here. There is a little embossed uh, symbol and so therefore make sure you have those correct. So of course now we check our connection and we have a green light. So we're looking good. That can be plugged in and charged. I guess the last step would just uh, put in a USB uh, cable and uh, check your phone and make sure it's charging. charging. This is Glenn. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. Hope you have a great day and maybe I'll work on your boat someday. Talk to you soon.
Visit styronyachting.com for more info.